So if cannabis can treat debilitating illnesses like cancer and epilepsy, what else can it treat? Well, it turns out that's hard to answer because the U.S. government prohibits studying the medical benefits of marijuana, which means doctors don't know how to treat patients using cannabis. But there's a few researchers who are hoping to change that. Initially, I was a process engineer, and I asked myself, is there a way that we can accurately and consistently dose cannabis over time across patients? We have about a 300 data point system that we're collecting on patients. The trends that we've collected have been promising enough over time that we are elevating this to look and feel more like a medicine that's dosable, and that is a huge win. I'm an MD. I practice internal medicine and psychiatry. I've been working with military veterans for about 20 years now. I'm hoping um, through our research that we'll be able to figure out ways to curb this epidemic of veteran suicide. Listening to a wife or a child talk about how they got their dad back or they got their husband back and how transformative this plant had been in these patients' lives, you just it was undeniable after a while. You just couldn't ignore the immense amount of, of anecdotal evidence. The reality is we all have an endocannabinoid system and we're all gonna get sick. Most of us can use cannabis in one form or another as part of our medical regimen. We want everyday doctors to be able to look at cannabis as an option along with all their other treatment modalities and cannabis is just part of your toolbox. There's no question we have an epidemic of um, opioid overdose in this country. We wonder why we have such a, a high suicide rate in the veterans' communities because we're, in, in the medical profession, we're the ones responsible for pummeling these veterans with so many pills. It's almost like our government is trying to deliberately subdue the veterans with piles of pills. Now, I've been using cannabis now for about five and a half years, and the amount I use is still quite low uh, relative to what you hear about some are cancer patients and things like that, but I still am, I need it every single day. So I, I understand when somebody says to me, I want to use cannabis, but I don't want to feel high. I had been on 26 pharmaceuticals that had uh, reduced me pretty much to you know, a zombie most of the time. And because of cannabis, I'm now on three pharmaceuticals, none of which are opioids. I don't view myself as pro-cannabis at all. I'm just pro-research, and I really believe that we need good science. If I wanted to study the harms of marijuana, I would have all the government dollars that I needed. But if you dare say you want to study efficacy of marijuana, those are the studies that are sort of systematically impeded by the government. You know, we can't have a war on science. Elected officials have to make decisions based on data.